Today I bought some uh, stingray and I thought of cooking it yesterday but um, we got so busy so this is how I keep it um, if you freeze your fish you're going to spoil your the flesh what I do is to keep it in cooler box what is it? with ice fish okay. and put stingray and I put it in the refrigerator and making sure that there's a lot of ice and the temperature is set you see that now see the temperature the temperature is about uh, one degree one degree Celsius okay. okay it's the fish inside there okay you make you must make sure that you have a lot of ice so that's uh, 0.6 degrees Celsius that's good yeah. This is still fine. Yeah. This one, we work on this one first. Is that the stingray? No, this is. Is that blood? Blood. Oh, look fine. Oh, this. Now, this, this is the liver of the stingray. Probably from two fish. Check whether they got all the galberda out i think they did uh we check it check out anyway so here we go okay okay uh let's cut see notice that green thing there now that this is the galbladder uh take it out uh, you can use your hand, okay? Mm. Okay, look at that. It's green. See, you must be very, very careful not to break the gallbladder because it contains uh, the bile. Okay, let's cut the rest of our liver and making sure that uh, when you're cutting, you don't cut into the gallbladder because the bile coming, coming out from the gallbladder is very, very bitter and this will really spoil your uh, liver and become inedible. Let's give it a wash. Okay. One thing important I, I like is very very sharp knife. All my knives are super super sharp. And I sharpen them just about every time I want to feel it. Yeah. Lightly sharpen them so that it is sharp every time you want to use them. Okay. You need for this a uh, bit of ginger. Lemon grass, shallot, and this combination will give you that very nice aroma. Uno mas, some Spanish phrase I learned when I was in Santa Fe, Argentina. Cerveza, uno mas. Nearly one clove of garlic. One bulk or one clove? No, one, 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 one bulk. Nearly one bar. Of course, mountains of chili. I think that will do fine. You need to be really hot, really spicy. Add a pan, a lot of oil, okay, a little for that, a little, a little, a little,
now you see the color has changed. Your oil has turned color into something reddish. Some of the onion is really turning brown. Uh, that's what we need. We don't. We do not need it to be really brown because it's over fragrant. So uh, we stop here and take it off the heat and rest for a minute or so. Then we have left this aside for a few minutes. for the next couple of minutes this tamarind water just squeeze it to your fingers and Grated coconut. some uh, what do you call it? Coconut oil, uh, banana, banana leaf. What's, what's the a leaf? <laughs> it is a leaf. Mm. It's a big leaf. Of coconut, uh, of uh, banana leaf. This is a bit uh, young. <coughs> Make sure you run it over the fire like this. Okay, so that you can work with it. It's soft. Okay, now. Then. Gonna make it into a, some sort of a lining. Okay. There, there's our liver. Just going to tidy up the leaf a little bit. Okay. Let's see about. 40 minutes. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. You get that. Hey. Mm. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Superb, superb. Mm. The coconut. Taste of the um, liver is very very nice. It goes well with the curry. Mm. It's beautiful. Very very delicious. Okay. That's it guys. I hope you tried the recipe. If you like it, please share, subscribe, like. Invite your friends, and if you think that there's something that you want me to cook, or you want to comment about what, I'm, what I do, please comment below. Um, see ya! Ah, bon appetit!